If you're like me, when you imagine your garden, it's picture perfect. It's full, it's lush, it's you know overflowing, it's green, it's got produce everywhere you turn. I wish I could tell you that in the real world you can actually accomplish that kind of a garden, but the reality is no one can do it. There's no such thing as a perfect garden. And so what we're doing here is broadening our awareness of that. And so we want to stay connected to the garden. We want to be in the garden often so that we can see what's happening. So as soon as we can identify a problem, we can get in there and begin to control it. And that's really what this is about. That's what this chapter is about. It's more about controlling and not trying to achieve perfection because it's not going to happen. I've seen many people get discouraged with their gardens because a blight came in or some bad bugs came in or an animal did some stuff and then they think, oh, my garden's ruined because it's no longer picture perfect. Don't give up when bad things happen to the garden. So our awareness is going to be broadened. Last chapter we had that list of good bugs. That's a good thing for us to know. In this chapter we're going to take a look at the bad boys, some bad things that can happen to the garden with some good answers about what you can do so that you can, you won't eradicate them, chances are, but you may be able to control it and still keep your plants producing. And that's what the goal is. It's about getting good quality, nutritious food. So what we don't want to do when we see something happening in the garden is to run to all these you know, uh, chemicals and start spraying and squirting things everywhere, whether if it's organic or synthetic, because both of those are going to kill indiscriminately. They're going to kill the good, the bad, and the ugly. We don't want to kill the good and perhaps the ugly. What we want to do is kill the bad. Now there are some ugly bugs that are really good bugs. And there are some ugly bugs that are bad bugs. Our awareness will be broadened to be able to see what the good bugs are and what the bad bugs are. Don't go by ugly. Ugly doesn't tell you if they're good or bad. I mean, look at uh, the cucumber beetle that you're going to read about in this chapter. I mean, if the cucumber beetle and I were buddies, if we were friends, I could see me hanging out in the uh, coffee shop with this beatnik looking cucumber beetle saying, hey, cucumber beetle, how are the cukes? Kind of a thing, you know? It looks pretty cool. But I promise you, if you let that thing loose in your garden, it's going to destroy all kinds of plants. Anything like cucumbers, squashes, any kind of melons, pumpkins, it will destroy those plants. So you want to be aware of what the bad bugs are so that you can deal with them. That's what this is about. So it's not about picture perfect. I want you to stay encouraged that when bad things happen, you hang in there, you respond in positive ways, and you control it. That's what this is about, control.